Hi, I'm Brent, and pleased to announce some more updates on the MY15 Subaru WRX. This is the Australian model, which is pretty typically similar to the models all around the world. No matter where you are, this video will help you. In the next five minutes, we're going to talk about some recent upgrades and some dyno testing we've done with some radical new technology supplied here and manufactured here in Australia by Kevin Westbraid, who is the managing director of Process West. Now, Process West is one of the companies that's globally well known for its intercooler um, and air tape modifications for model cars, typically sold in Australia but globally available as well. So they're very popular around the world, particularly in the UK, uh, Europe and North America. And what we've got here to show you is the new vertical-cooler for the MY15. Now, Kevin done a lot of work on the previous model Subarus, the um, one with the EJ series 2.5 litre engines on the vertical. He was the first in the world to release this type of technology and he's been working very, very hard on his own project car which he purchased specifically to test and develop this kit. And we're pretty pleased to announce that we've been doing some uh, dyno testing and anticipation for the release of this product um, as part of our R&D process for ongoing modifications of the car, but also for our big test next week here in Australia with Australia's top motoring magazine, Motor. Now Motor Magazine every year for the last five or six years have done what they call Hot Tuner Challenge. And again this year they've invited a specific list of uh, tuning workshops from around Australia to present their cars to one independent test at Sydney Motorsport Park and Sydney International Dragway for a range of tests on the track, on the dyno, the drag and more um, by uh, motoring journalists as well as V8 supercar drivers um, including people such as Warren Luff. So this video is going to tell you about the Process West Verticula um, anticipation of I'll do another video to give you some more updates about the car in general for what we're doing for Motor Magazine next week. So let's have a look at what Kevin's actually designed um, to fit in the new Subaru because we'll remember the current model Subaru MY15's got a horizontally mounted uh, top man in a cooler with a bonnet scoop built into the classic scoop on the bonnet which incredibly it's really good Subaru released the new model with the bonnet scoop on the Forester uh, turbo petrol they've hidden the scoop into the front of the grille so if I get my cameraman to come a bit closer you'll see so allows the way of the intercooler to be fitted in a vertical position um, or almost vertical by replacing the factory intercooler comes with a whole new uh, splitter and duct system that all bolts up into the factory standard um, under tray under the bonnet. There's no modifications to the actual bonnet or the bonnet scoop and the way the air is directed is designed to flow into the cooler and down out around the gearbox. Now the theory is the factory standard in the cooler being horizontally mounted the air has to change and go straight down through a vertical 90 degree bend hits the top of the gearbox and then change direction again and then go at the back with the process where's vertical up, by having it angled like this, you can get the airflow a lot more efficiently because there's less um, changes of direction for the airflow, but it also allows a much larger, more efficient intercooler to be fitted. If you have a look from the side here, it's actually a lot thicker um, and it fits just in underneath the, um, the scuttle here to get the maximum size possible. And the bottom part here down the bottom, you can see it just clears the factory um, clutch slave cylinder for the six-speed transmission models. Obviously, if you've got a CVT um, transmission, that is not a problem. The kit comes with all brand new silicon hoses, um, a really cool um, hard pipe kit that goes around the side, because you've got to remember this engine's got the turbo right down the bottom now, and I'll take some still photos to link to this video so you can understand in a little bit more detail how it fits. You'll notice it fits with all the original factory airbox, um, and the hard pipe kit that goes between the engine and the back of the radiator is designed in such a fashion so it actually fits and replaces the original factory parts quite neatly. Comes with all new connector hoses and everything as a complete kit. And I must say, the detail to the attention of what um, Kevin and his team have come up with to get this intercooler to fit, it's a real shoehorn job to make sure it gets in there in one place. Um, it comes with a really cool little trim at the front because obviously the factory um, cover doesn't fit anymore and this is part of the kit as well. Um, I just want to point out, you'll notice that the car that we're running at the moment has still got the original factory airbox fitted. We've been doing a lot of testing with aftermarket uh, so-called cold air intakes and modified air intake systems and 
you may want to watch our video and other information about that separately. The big advantage that you may want to know is what does it actually do and how does it work? Well, the advantage of a top man intercooler on a Subaru is all about um, heat efficiency and maintaining the coldest inlet charge you can get while the engine's under load. So depending on your airspeed as in driving down the road, this intercooler is totally reliant on airspeed of the car moving forward. And if you don't have a lot of airspeed going through the intercooler, whether it's factory standard or aftermarket, you don't have the cooling ability to reduce the inlet charge. And typically, the typical um, temperature drop across the inlet side to the outlet side to the engine is about half. And we've seen inlet temperatures of um, anywhere between 40 to 80 degrees, depending on what intercooler design you're running on the car, whether it's factory standard or a whole range of aftermarket options that are now coming onto the market. So there you have it, the Process West vertical for the MY15. Follow the link on this video channel to our Facebook page where we've got a whole heap of photos. Um, we've got some more dyno data on this particular car. Probably in summary, everybody's going to say, what does it give us on, on power? Well, I can't answer that question because the benefits of a good quality intercooler is by maintaining inlet temperature at a low inlet temperature when the car is under high load. On a dyno, when you're pulling short power runs, you'll probably, unless you do a lot of runs or long runs in a time, you're not going to heat soak the intercooler too quickly, depending on the fans. In our situation, I'll show you a couple of photos. We use a dedicated blower to, in, to get air to the intercooler. So, other than the fact that it looks pretty cool, it is something that will give you maintained power under long, hard, steady runs. Or if you're going to go to the track, it's something that will give you good intake at temperature maintenance but it's not the type of part that you'd bolt on and expect to see an instant power um, upgrade because that's not what it's designed to do. Of course, there is an improvement in flow because the pressure drop between the left-hand side and the right-hand side, as in the inlet and the outlet, is improved over factory standard and pressure drop results in boost maintained at the engine. So if you put 20 PSI on one side of the intercooler and you get 20 PSI on the other side of the intercooler going to the engine, then that's good, but be careful. Some aftermarket intercoolers have got horrible pressure drops, meaning you put 20 psi boost on one side and you might only get 15, 12, 10 on the other because the intercooler design is so restrictive it can't flow the air. It's like putting a really small exhaust system on your car. So when you're choosing your intercooler, have a think about the ability to fit neatly, the quality of the parts, the reliability and of course the warranty. From a mechanical point of view, you want to think about the ability to flow air and cool properly, but also you want to think about pressure drop. If you put boost in on one side, do you get the same boost out on the other side? And when it comes to a process waste intercooler from the guys here in Australia, you can rely on a good result. So that's it for today. Hopefully this information and video will help you learn more about your car no matter where you are in the world. For any of the cars that we support, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Subaru, or a whole range of other models, go to our website, click the drop down, follow us here on Facebook, YouTube and Twitter. We look forward to your comments, but for today, I'm Britt Middleton, thanks for watching.